folks, this is uh, USFL New York versus New, uh, excuse me, New York, New Jersey in the red versus New Orleans in blue. And I've just seen what has to be one of the dumbest plays I've ever seen in my entire life. They're lined up, excuse me, they're lined up slot left, wing right, tailback, and it's third and 21. Now, they put this receiver in motion, and then before he can get to the tackle, they snap the ball. Now watch what the quarterback does. Now note that up here on this part of the play, you have the wing. He's down, which means, and look at the rushman who's already down. He's coming in, right? So you wouldn't expect him to hand off because it's blocked off already. Like the play design, the formation design, essentially blocks off in an end around, right? So looks, well, watch what happens. The quarterback hands off to him because the coach told him to because that's what the play calls for. And the defensive end should have had him dead to rights right there. What happens next is all the runner. He skips around him, skips around his own blocker, gets around two guys, and then 22 stops him. But my point is, if you're going to design a play like this with an end around, make sure that you're not in a formation where you've got the guy that's supposed to be blocking you on the edge already giving up the edge. That's not his fault. That's the formation. Oh, that's, that's bad coaching. That's bad coaching. You should have a tight end on the line up here, all right, which means that the play formation design would be such that you would have this receiver up, this one down, put him in motion, have him on the line, and have him off the line, okay? They didn't design this correctly. They didn't even think about it. They drew it up, didn't even know what they were drawing. That's called stupid football, folks. That's called stupid I love football. football. But we have to get to a point where we get better football. I don't care if it's USFL, NFL, IFL. Logical plays, properly designed. That's all I ask.